we thought that we would, you know, talk about the Badgers and do something for a little party snack maybe on the weekend. Yeah, because you know? they've been on a roll. I think they're 5-0 and right now. I think so. And let's just keep it going. I can't say the same with the Packers. But we're not talking struggle. about the Packers. A little struggle with Rodgers being hurt the last couple of weeks, so we're going to go on. Let's, let's go to the Badgers. Okay. okay. Hence the colors. Here we go. So, anyway. You're cutting me short. Okay. <laughs> so we are making a, a quick and easy, very easy little party dip. Mm -hmm. And it has virtually four items. Okay. So one eight-ounce package of cream cheese. Which, which I've you already added to the bowl. Have in the bowl, and you've been kind of softening mm -hmm. that. Okay, have you can softened. just do um, stir this all at one time. Okay. A half a package of some kind of a dry ranch dip, whatever okay. you know, okay. brand you want. Yep. One cup of finely uh, grated uh, cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. This actually is like a taco cheese that yep. has three different kinds of of cheeses, cheeses in it. And then uh, what about how many? So it's, a, it's actually three, three tablespoons, three tablespoons of, of light just beer. beer. Actually, you've got beer. IPA in yeah, there. Yeah, I have an IPA in here because I don't drink a lot of light beer. <clears throat> you can probably tell. <laughs> I like my IPA. Yeah. So then you're just going to uh, stir that up with your fork or a, and this a is gonna scraper make a, or and a this spoon. Is, this is going to end up being like a chip dip or a spread it on is. crackers. You know, and it looks I, like it's got that consistency. And I was thinking when we were you know, thinking about what we want to make today, I was thinking of like making like a cheese ball, which mm -hmm. you could actually you know, use this in a cheese ball too. By just letting it set up. Let it set up a little and bit in the refrigerator. Sometimes overnight. Mm -hmm. And then just form it into, you know, like a cheese, you know, log. And then roll it right. in either chopped pecans or mm -hmm. parsley. Or just um, roll it into a nice right. ball. And the, the same thing. All right. Now, this, so, is really, this is really too easy. Are we... Are we already done? We are almost done. So, so this would be great for tailgating or having will. friends over at your house for a, exactly. a Badger game or a Packer game or any game who's ever listening, watching, any game with whatever team you yeah. like. And our, our friend Kathy Bidorf is, is always good about making lots of different kinds of, of dips. And, and she was the one responsible for our yeah. um, that mascarpone, you know, mascarpone oh, yes. Yes. cheese dip. And she also has... This recipe in a cookbook, yes, which St. John's put out. Let me show a, you our little cookbook. She does a fantastic job of making. So it's always a go-to cookbook when you're looking for dips. something. You mm -hmm. know, just go to a church cookbook. So That's this is right. a, a little cookbook our church put out in 2014, when we were um, supporting our sister Sabina from Tanzania right. and helping her. To build a convent. Build a convent. Okay, so convent Kathy, in a school for girls, I think it was. Yeah, has yeah. a recipe in there for this little dip, and there she actually go. said hers says to to have a, with pretzels. So you could have pretzels, which we didn't mm -hmm. happen to have. Right. Um, but I'm just using some generic some like triscuits. Yep, just some spread crackers. And, and I could even suggest you could do celery or carrots if you wanted to have it a little the, bit healthier. For the healthy crowd, I'm not sure if there's that many healthy crowds out there at the tailgating parties I've been at. for that? Yeah. It's yeah. not always. But there, you could put a carrot stick or two out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. So, there is our quick and easy little right. party dip. No. Are you going to try it? Could I? Sure, absolutely. Could I? Should I? Mm -hmm. I will. Now, this because is, we, we this wouldn't is, want anybody to try this recipe if it didn't work out, right? That's right. Now, this is all new to us folks, so we're going to see if this is any good. And if it's not, I have some the leftover beer. beer from <laughs> our, what, three tablespoons I went in? I could always rinse my mouth with this. That's so right. here we go. And I would try it, but very often times as I'm trying to talk, I end up choking on the crumbs from crackers. So I'm just going to forego that that little episode that mm. could could happen. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's very tangy. So I'll try it I later it's, on. It's probably a little bit of the beer, and probably the tang is also in that in the dry mix. Okay. The dry. Italian. So you know what? I was also thinking that not only could we use you know this little dip for you know like mm -hmm. a packer game or, or badger game mm -hmm. tailgating we're having you know people over for dinner on sun on uh, monday night monday night okay. we're having some friends right but then i thought we could also do it use it for friends that are celebrating their first wedding anniversary and who would that on be sunday night with us so brett go. and brianna need to come out from behind the camera does that mean we get to go 
behind the camera and do this? What are we doing? Well, this is a surprise to me. This is a surprise, yeah. So this is new to me to, too, folks. She, so they need she to pulls come surprises on. like this I on me all the time. I love pull so surprises. She loves so pulling surprises kiddos. on her videographers. So, come okay, on. kiddos. Come on. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to switch, si switch places here with Brett and Brianna. You guys stay right there. I think Ruth has got something for you. So when you guys got married a year ago, you celebrated on your grandma and grandpa's 57th? 56. 56th anniversary. Yeah. So they're celebrating 57 mm -hmm. this year on Sunday, October 29th with yeah. you guys. Okay. So I told you you didn't have to save that cake for a year that I would make you another cake. <laughs> okay. So it is a kind of a replica, except it's larger. It's beautiful. Um, chocolate yeah. with cream cheese, chocolate chip filling, and cream mm. cheese frosting. And little chocolate hearts. Thank so you. happy, happy anniversary. anniversary! Thank you. There so you much. go. <laughs> so Excellent. I think that concludes our episode of a slice of heaven. Cooking this is actually Ruth. a slice of heaven. This is a this slice is of a, heaven. This and is cooking with cooking Ruth. with Ruth yes. and Gary and we're, and we're videographers we without, without Brett, Brett and, and Brianna. Brianna. So, exactly. Absolutely. So happy, we're a team. Happy anniversary! <laughs> and you. until next time, happy cooking. Keep in mind, we've never made this before, so if it doesn't turn out... You could scoop it. It'd be kind of like a Texas caviar. Oh, this would be called a Wisconsin caviar. Sure. Do we need to start all over again? I think you should stop. <laughs> Let's pause. Open that cookbook. Pause that. <laughs> it said Here. no. It, uh -huh. it said, I think it a, said, it said a half a can. I no. use better. A half a can, a light beer, and one package of... Hidden Valley, serve together and serve with pretzels. She maybe typed it in wrong because there's no way. That seems like that's an awful. That okay, we're 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 making Kathy we, Bidor's recipe we here. We thought for we would double it, and we're thinking that we might have to use scoops. Is this how this is supposed to turn out, Kathy? Looks real good. It's go yeah. it's going online here in about a day or two. So hopefully this is the right recipe. Just kind of if you kind of lift up your spoon. <laughs> <laughs> we probably don't even want to talk about our redo, do we? The clap? I don't have the clap. Do I get do I get the clap? Yeah, I got the clap. I had the clap. Yeah. Did what? You get that? Are we on? <laughs> I didn't know that. This is going from like bad this to is going bad. From bad. You know what we, you know we gotta do? We gotta make my favorite episode. We have to we have to make an R rated. <laughs> we have to make an R rated show. Or just an R rated what do you call it? A compilation. That was a good one. Okay. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>